New developments now in the meningitis outbreak linked to a tainted steroid injections from a Massachusetts compounding pharmacy. It's a story we've been tracking for years. Now, victims may soon be compensated for their suffering. As we first told you last night on Eyewitness News, the now bankrupt pharmacy has agreed to a $100 million settlement. Eyewitness News reporter Daniel North joins us now with reaction from victims tonight. My husband, I just miss him so much. A year after Patty LaPierre lost her husband Lynn to a tainted steroid shot traced to the New England Compounding Center in Framingham, there's word that she's not really alone. I'm still in shock. I, I just can't believe it. I mean, I had no idea they would come up with this kind of money. More than $100 million will soon be shared by victims of the meningitis outbreak, all part of a settlement that set up a fund to compensate those who were impacted. Instead of grabbing at every penny we can you know, scrape up and save, at least we're going to be able to take a breath and sit back for a minute, you know. J.R. Mazur is one of the 750 people who were sickened from the contaminated vials. I feel, feel like they're in wet wool socks full yeah. of wet sand all yeah. the time. He spent 110 days in the hospital, forced to retire from his job. While NECC's owners still deny any wrongdoing, they say they want to play a major role in establishing a fund for people who died or are suffering. The money is coming directly from cash contributions from the owners and proceeds from insurance, tax refunds, and the sale of a related business. JR knows it will help, and the future is starting to look brighter. Well, I'm home for the holiday. That's the good news. Last year, I was in the hospital for the holidays. Now, a bankruptcy court judge still has to approve the deal before the settlement can go into effect. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.